So, I'd like to talk a little bit about the way sediment is transported, and specifically the difference between bed load transport, which is grains that are rolling or saltating, and suspension transport. So, when we have a flow and different grain sizes, the different grains, of course, weigh different amounts, and the flow characteristics affect grains of different size differently. So if we plot our boundary layer and our flow speed goes from zero to the average flow with depth. If we have very small grains, and this is a turbulent flow, small grains are influenced by that turbulence and they remain in the flow. They have a settling velocity that you could calculate with a, a Stokes settling velocity. Um, but the bursts of turbulence are large enough that they keep the grains in suspension and keep them from settling out. So grains that stay up off the flow are in suspension. So they're suspended. Now, grains in the bed load part commonly contact the sedimentary bed. So generally, suspended grains can be anywhere in the flow, including the lower part, but bed load transport occurs near the surface of the bed and is strongly influenced by the boundary layer of the flow. So I have another video where we talk about the Bernoulli effect and then which lifts grains off the bed and then we also have the differential flow from the bottom to the top of the grain and so grains can roll downstream and bed grains that stay in contact with the bed are generally considered um, in traction and they're the ones that roll. A grain that gets lifted off the bed into the flow and moves downstream, but the settling velocity is fast enough that the turbulence can't keep it in the flow are said to be saltating grains. Thanks for watching.